Hello everyone, welcome to AI Sciences. My name is Shazeb Hamid and today we are going to develop a question answering bot using Hugging Face Transformers. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to open up your Google Colab and after opening it, what you need to do is you need to install the Transformers library. So for that, what you need to do is you need to write pip install slash q and after that you are going to write transformers and later you can just give the version of transformer for me the version is 4.4.2 so I'm going to write it and then you will run this one now let's enter a few more cells and I'll pause the video until this is installed now that this is installed what is the next step the next step is actually to import torch for that I'm going to write import torch and later what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to tell me what is the version of torch that is being installed so for that what I need to do is I need to write torch dot and then two underscores and then I'll write version and after that two underscores again and now let's run this let's see what is the version so there we go the version that we are using is 1.13 and it is cu116 okay so what is the next thing the next thing is actually to install torch scatter that is another library that we are going to use in this complete video so in the same way what we are going to do is we are going to write pip install and then i'm going to write torch slash scatter and after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to write slash f and then i'm going to copy paste the uh, you know url from which i'm going to install this so let me bring in that so the url is this one okay so hopefully we'll be able to install toy scatter with the help of this right it is doing that right now and uh, what we can do next is we can actually start working onto our program so in the meantime it will complete installing so the two libraries that we are going to use are transformers and pandas so the first one is transformers of course the one that we have installed so for that i'm going to import pipelines from there right so let's write uh, from transformers import pipeline and uh, import pandas as pd which is a very standard library okay so after this we are going to run this one so let me pause the video until this is installed now that torch scattered has been installed let's run this command to import both pipeline and pandas and after this what we are going to do is we are going to develop a pipeline so basically what is a pipeline a pipeline is a methodology with the help of which we can use the interfaces and the models that are available on hugging face transformers right so the model that we are going to use is tapas base fine-tuned so the first thing that we need to do is we need to write a pipeline so tqa is equal to pipeline and in this pipeline i'm going to give two things right so the first thing is the task so what is the task for us so the task is table question and then answering and what is the next thing the next thing is the model and for the model i'm going to write model is equal to the model that we are going to use as i have told you before is the tapas base fine-tuned model let me copy it exactly so that we do not make any confusion so this is the hugging face model that we are going to use right and after running this command this task and this model will be saved into this variable tqa so let's run this and what is the next step the next step is to actually get the data inside uh, so uh, first let it install all of them right 
and there are uh, almost four to five installations that needed to be done one two three four one is remaining i believe let me put in a few cells until then right okay so now it is done what is the next step the next step is to make a table and we are going to uh, read it from our google drive and into our google drive we have actually entered it by the name of data so for that i'm going to write data.csv and let's run this okay so it is not finding data.csv let me locate it so if you have errors such as this what you need to do is you need to actually open it up from here right and in this folder you are going to copy the excel sheet that you are going to use for me that was data and it was saying that data.csv is not available and i have copied that data right here now let's see if this error goes or not okay so this error is gone this data.csv file is now available in our google colab right so what is the next step the next step is actually to read the table as string so for that i'm going to write table is equal to table dot as type and in this i'm going to write str so let's run this again and let's see what is the table after that and there we go let's see the table so this is the table these are the 10 positions these are the players these are the teams span innings runs highest score so this is the table that we are going to use right so from this table what we are going to ask this uh, you know uh, uh, model is uh, something like who has scored the highest runs and we'll see if it points to the right direction or not right so this is the model and uh, we have told that this is a table question answering methodology and now let's actually see if it can answer our query rightly so query is equal to who has scored the highest h a g h e s t highest runs right because runs are available right here and let's put a question mark after this and to get the answer what we need to do is we need to print out something like tqa right where we are going to give two things into tqa one is the table and table is equal to table and after that what is the next thing the next thing is query is equal to query if its name is not query it's something else then this one will be changed and if its name is not table it's something else then this one will be changed all right so what do we need to see in this we need to see the answer so for that let's write answer now let's see if we get the right answer or not it has been disconnected let me see if this works or not so let it initialize it first okay so let's try to run this okay so there we go this is the answer so it is asking us that Sachin Tendulkar is the answer which seems like the right answer because it has the most runs right so as you can see all of this is being uh, you know filtered out and the right answer is being given to us so how were we able to do that we were able to do that with the help of this specific model right which has been fine-tuned right and the task that we are doing with this model is table question answering so this is the complete methodology that can be used to sort of uh, you know uh, develop any question answer methodology from a table right so uh, it can also be made you know automated with the help of uh, you know a for loop or something like that right so we can also do that as well and this is it for today this is the methodology with the help of which you can develop any question answering uh, you know system using hugging face transformers so uh, for seeing more videos like this keep watching gay senses 
for now goodbye